what's up everybody welcome back to the sunday edition of tech of tomorrow now usually we give you guys the full blown sunday edition update thought we'd do something a little bit different now so we're going to do an unboxing of the product today and we're going to look at the thermal take this is the frio ock snow edition cooler pretty cool thing but i'll give you guys weeks wrap up anyways because the really important things that happen well we reviewed the latest maximus 5 extreme thunder effects motherboard this thing is totally decked out and is a really great board you guys should check that out also had a release of a new amd card coming out this is their new 7870 card you guys aren't going to want to miss that those are pretty much the highlights of the real excitement that happened on the channel this week but for now let's take a look at this frio ock Features dual 133 millimeter fans, six six millimeter pipes, and it'll fit on any type of thing that there's out there. So if you have an AMD board, you have an Intel board, this thing will fit on. It's a multi-socketed bad boy. So with that said, let's jump in, let's do the unboxing, and let's check out the Frio OCK Snow Edition. <laughs> All right, folks, like any good unboxing, we're going to actually just show you the box. So here we see it, the Frio OCK. You can see 240 watts. That's pretty much for every CPU that's out there. Here we see the thing where I talked about earlier. There's 230 millimeter fans, six heat pipes, fits any socket that there is. I'll flip it around real quick to show you guys the back of the box where it talks about that stuff. Smart thermal management system. You guys can see some pictures down here of it, but we're gonna show you that. Now here are the actual specs. You guys can see as we go down the box. Basically just telling you the overall stuff. You guys all know what coolers are, so this is just giving you some of the specifics. So with that said, let's actually take a look at the product because that's what we're all here for. So I don't even need a knife for this unboxing. I really wish I did because they're fun, but on this one, I don't need it. Just right here, click, and then a pop. And then we see right here we have the accessory package, so I'll spin the box around so we can get a better look at that. So right off the bat, you open it up you have the accessory package, which obviously contains all the accessories and mounting equipment. And then the Frio OCK Snow Edition, the installation guide, and then further installation guide in other languages. So that way, if you're in another country or something else, you'll still be able to see it. Last but not least, their little warranty package. Now, real quick, I'm just gonna set this off to the side. We'll bang in here. Let's just take a look at the accessory package since we have it out here. Let's see what all comes in this little bad boy which is actually packed in there pretty tight, like little sardines. Oh, actually, they've done this quite nicely, folks. Let's take a look. Up here on top, see a back plate? And then check this out. Everything else is actually in here underneath the plastic cover. So everything's actually very, very well laid out here, folks. Check that out. Everything you need's all in there, including your thermal paste. Everything's simple to take out and begin the installation process. So let's go ahead and we'll move that out of the way. And then let's take a look at the unit itself. Pull this thing out. So we got that. All right, so let's start off with this one. We'll start off at the bottom of the unit. Here you guys can see they have no paste on this. They just have their seal right here, which you can see is completely unbroken. Here are one, two, three, four, five, six. These are the six millimeter heat pipes that we talked about earlier. You can also see those already up into a bunch of fins. These also help to dissipate the heat away from your CPU. Now, obviously this thing's white. You guys can see it, it's the snow edition. Flip it around up here to the top. Flip it so you guys can get a better view. There's lights and stuff that actually light up. Here are one of the fans. These are 130 millimeter fans, one on this side. And again, another one on the other side. Flip around to show you guys that. Another view. Angled view. Here are the connection. It's all stuck inside of here. Two different connections. Here right here is your fan controller. Move it up and down. This will make your fan speed slow up and slow down. And then your PWM connector right there. Now, a lot of people ask about cooling fans and the differences of them. Now, I'm going to tell you guys right off what I think is a big difference. The big difference is, is how loud you got to be. 
I mean, will this thing work efficiently with the fans turned on low, or do you got to turn the fans on to full blown to make a lot of noise to cool it off? Those are the main things. All right, everybody. So there you have it. The Frio OCK. I like to call it the Frioc. Now, you guys might be wondering why there was no normal Sunday edition. Well, for one thing, Biff Baxter, that mother just didn't show up for work. Now, you know it's a sad day in hell when your alter ego doesn't even show up for work. I mean, isn't that just piss poor worth ethic? I mean, seriously. Anyways, folks, check it out. Like I said earlier, a lot of difference between these coolers is how loud do you really have to turn up the fans for them to cool efficiently. In different countries, it means different things. If you go to Germany, I don't care how well it cools. If it's loud, they're gonna give it a thumbs down and say it stinks. They like everything to be silent. Now, here in America, we like to overclock the holy frack out of shit. So for us, we just want it to be the most efficient. We care about noise, but noise level isn't the end-all be-all for us when we do our reviews or when we do our testing. So now I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the test station in the other room. We'll see how it works, and we'll come back to it. For that, guys, I hope you guys liked the video. Hit that like button. Got all kinds of cool stuff, so I hope you subscribe to the channel. And with that said, we'll see you guys back here tomorrow. And if you missed anything at all, just make Make sure you look in the link in the description below where you can check out where to buy this or check out any of the videos that we did or reviews on Tech of Tomorrow this week. Peace out, folks.